guys welcome back i'm holly and this is my channel thank you so much for being here i'm assuming that you're interested in the video today because it is a review of dior's newest privé release the new dior new look so let's talk let's talk a little bit about the fragrance uh, before I talk about the fragrance. So Dior released New Look 1947. Um, I don't know when, but I'll put it on the screen here. And it's quite different than the new version. The new version of New Look was released by the current Dior uh, master perfumer, Francis Kirkjean. And it's meant to take the idea of the new look silhouette from Dior, which was a very popular thing post-war in Europe, um, and turn it into something that is more appropriate for modern times without losing the aspect that makes it like quintessentially Dior. Um, Francis Kirkjohn, the creative director of perfumes at Parfums Dior, says this about the new creation of New Look. More than a legacy, more than a silhouette, the new look is a state of mind, a way of viewing and reinterpreting the world. This powerful mindset has transcended time. True to Christian Dior, who wanted a Dior perfume to be an olfactory mirror of his couture, I strove to retain this perfect symbiosis between fashion and fragrance with incredible daring. I wanted to create a Dior fragrance that echoes the spirit, nuances, and essence of new look today. So I, first of all, <laughs> um, so when I saw the notes for this new fragrance, I was extremely interested. The only listed notes are aldehydes in the top, frankincense in the middle, and amber cord in the base. Um, I really like what Francis Kirkjohn does with amber fragrances. And I also really like frankincense and aldehydes. There's all of these notes are basically within my realm of favorite note fragrances. My favorite fragrances have most of these notes often. But I didn't want to commit to a full bottle. Um, on the Dior website in the US, they only sell the 125 mil and the 250 mil size bottles. However, available um, internationally in France, in other places in Europe, um, maybe in Asia, other places abroad, I'm not sure, but I know France and Europe, they do offer the, um, the one ounce, the 30 mil size. So I did purchase this from a reseller and um, after all was said and done with the purchase, I ended up paying about what a, um, a 40 mil bottle, I think these are actually 40 mil, so they're a little over one ounce, 1.3 ounce, um, a 40 mil bottle here goes for on the website. Um, the fragrance itself, the packaging, first of all, I love the Dior. I love the shape of the bottles. I love the sleek and um, very uh, ergonomical <laughs> design of the Collection Privé bottles from Maison Dior. Um, and this one is no different. This has the magnetic cap, just like its larger counterparts. It's just, it's so cute. It comes in the same little packaging just like its larger counterparts um with you know the name printed and the perfume information printed on the packaging one thing i think is interesting that they started doing or the at least with the uh privé collection but i think with all of their fragrances is they add a qr code now and if you scan the qr code it takes you directly to the website and you can get the information about the perfume um that's on the website just by scanning you don't have to sit there and look it up on your phone or anything like that okay let's talk about 
the fragrance. This is a very I think that when you go on and look for reviews there's only two camps. There's no like in between like this is an okay scent but not for me or yeah I like it I would wear it but I don't know if I buy a full bottle. No nothing like that. This is a that's awful get it away from me or this is amazing I love it type of scent. Um, first of all there are a lot of different opinions about the aldehyde and frankincense combination in this fragrance. Um, some people I saw reviews that said it smells like a cemetery, that it smells like a, some people say it smells like a mortuary. Some people said that it smells like street cleaning products. Um, I, I've seen favorable reviews of the combination that say it smells like um, metallic um, notes of like incense burners in Catholic Church. A lot of people reference Catholic Church and churches in general when <laughs> reviewing this scent. The incense element and the aldehydic element are both incredibly present. The amber element, that amber accord, is only noticeable in the really deep dry down, which is something that um, a lot of people seem to be quite disappointed by. They were looking forward to a more amber heavy fragrance. A lot of people reference um, Francis Kirkshawn 725. I think that's what it's called or 724. It might be seven. I think it's 724 um, that say that there's similarities and that he basically just kind of reused that formula. Um, I haven't smelled that scent so I can't make that comparison or dis credit that comparison but what I can say based on my own wearing of the fragrance is that if you are interested in new look 2024 from um Privé Dior Privé definitely try to get your hands on a sample first um if you can join like uh someone who's splitting the fragrance in one of the Facebook groups that is listed down below or if you can find a Dior boutique that sells them or if there's a department store that sells the Privé line um try to get a sample even buying one of the minis like you know how they sell the 7.5 mil little tiny bottles um on Mercari if you can or request a sample when you visit Dior uh the website or even I don't know if you can get them in department stores or anything like that try it first <laughs> I blind bought it because I thought to myself, I'm like, I like these notes. I like this, like the idea of this. I don't feel like there's anything about this that I'm going to not like. Girl, I, it is a strong, a uh, wow for me. Like I'm going to spray it. I'm going to spray it. I sounded so trepidate, trepidate. <laughs> So I like it. Um, thank goodness that I liked it because I did buy a bottle and not a sample. <laughs> uh, but anyone who doesn't like it is well within their rights. It is definitely a difficult scent. The aldehydes and the frankincense are both from the start battling with each other they aren't very like synergetic there's not a real harmony of the scent for a good several hours after spraying it i will say there's a lot of reviews i saw that say there was no projection or longevity of this fragrance i don't know who they're talking to or what fragrance they're wearing but maybe because this one is from france <laughs> maybe they put something different in the the in the mixture there i don't know but this thing is a beast. This is, and I never think of aldehydic fragrances as beast mode because aldehydes by their nature are designed to be short lived and very effervescent. 
The combination with the frankincense though in this makes this thing last like no other. Like it becomes a skin scent when it reaches the amber cords phase of the fragrance. But in the aldehydic top and the frankincense mid, like it lasts forever. I don't think that it projects heavily because it's not offensive. It is very strong and very noticeable to you, the wearer, when you first spray it. But I've worn it quite a bit since I've gotten the bottle. Um, I've not put a real dent in it, but I have worn it several times. And I've worn it out in public and no one has really shown offense to the fragrance itself. No one has re really responded to it in a negative way. Um, I haven't gotten compliments either. It's not a compliment getter, but it isn't so projecting that it's going to come off of you and be crazy. But what it is, is something that lingers on your skin and you notice it and if you can't handle like this could so easily be headache inducing for the raw like if you really can't handle a uh, strong like citrus or aldehyde or uh, incense fragrance don't it's it's so different and I think that it both hits the mark and misses the mark completely. It's a very like black and white type of scent. Um, the idea was to update the new look to fit today's silhouette. And he, he means that in a fashion sense, but also in a style sense. Anyway, so the Dior New Look was iconic in the 40s, um, the late 40s and the post-war period, late 40s and early 50s, and the recreation of it, I would say now, you know, seven years later, um, it definitely does something. <laughs> this scent does something. Um, I definitely feel like there's an aspect to it that, uh, uh, Francis Kirkshawn really got right. And in that sense is the uniqueness and the inability to, um, to like, fold to convention or to like just follow trends because this isn't a trendy perfume this isn't a fragrance that's um that follows a trend it's a fragrance that sets trends um unfortunately i don't think it will be setting many trends because it went a little bit too far <laughs> in that direction like in the in the in the current fragrance uh sphere of what people look for and what they like um Dior's new look is really outside of that. Um, maybe one day people will gravitate to this scent and be like, wow, you know, Francis Kirkshawn really did something there. Like, really made something. Uh, do I think that will happen anytime soon? No. Um, there are people who compare it to other fragrances. There are other fragrances that it's compared to. I can't think of them off the top of my head, but again, I'll put them on um, the, I'll put them right down here. Um, but I haven't smelled anything that smells like this. Uh, even my closest incense fragrance, which is Comme de Garçon uh, Incense Avignon, which is a fragrance that is compared to this fragrance, um, doesn't smell like this. There's something different. There is something unique. So to sum up my review of the fragrance is that it's not blind buy worthy. It's not even like necessary to have in your collection unless you particularly like incense and aldehydic fragrances and you want something maybe a little bit different. It does have a kind of cold, a little bit sterile, a little bit church vibe 
going on. Uh, so if you prefer a more warm, comfortable fragrance, it's not going to be for you. And if you're looking, <clears throat> if you're looking to add something new from Dior's pre <laughs> Dior's Privé collection, especially maybe something from Kirkjean if you really like him as a perfumer, this is probably not going to be the one. Or if you want something very incense heavy and um, are sensitive to the uh, the idea of like a cold kind of vibe, try going ahead with the Comme de Garçon incense line. Um, I think that if you want a frankincense heavy fragrance, you can find one that is better than New Look. Um, maybe not as, maybe as unique. Definitely, Comte de Garçon does some that are pretty unique. Um, but anyway, definitely I don't recommend New Look for most people. I think that it's not gonna fit most people's fragrance wardrobes. Um, but if you are someone who likes to wear fragrance that is outside of the trend or you just want to smell unique, by all means, if you have the money and you want to spend it on a Dior Privé fragrance, try New Look. See if it's something that you would like to add to your collection. For me, I'm happy to have the 40 mil. I'm so glad I was able to get a hold of the size. I really enjoy wearing it. I do wear it, like I said, quite often, and I do enjoy wearing it, but it is definitely not one that I gravitate to just for any occasion. I have to really think about it. So that's my overall opinions on Dior's new look 2024. If you're interested in the fragrance itself, like I said, get a sample or even get one of the 7.5 ml dabber bottles first so that you can decide whether or not you, because I can smell it off my arm right now and like the frankincense is burning my nostrils. Like it is, I, I can't put it up high on my body. When I wear it, I usually spray it onto my collar, not my collarbone, like my sternum or my stomach so that the scent comes up. I can't wear it on my neck it's too much but yeah so that is Dior's new look 2024 from Christian Dior's Maison Privé line by Francis Kirkshawn I hope that you enjoyed I haven't done a single fragrance review in ages and I don't really know that I remembered all that well how to do it but I hope that you enjoyed anyway and I will see you in the next video bye